Well, here in Barrio Logan, this has been going on now almost 50 years, and so the art, it just keeps growing, and it's so satisfactory. And that, but it's all about teaching, it's all about expressing the new generations, uh, and, and telling the rest of the world of why we do this, and what it's about. It's about humanity, and, and changing humanity in a way that we can positively influence it to make a better world, no? I also love teaching people how also to love art, which sounds a little corny, um, but I think that it's a type of relationship that everyone can have. Um, so that's sort of what sucked me into art was the potential for a real relationship with thousands of people who have lived before or, after, or who will live after me and who will have a conversation with my work long after I'm gone too. And teaching uh, art isn't isn't like work. It's more like a, a, a pleasurable activity. And my new upcoming class is sumptuous oil and cold wax, and that's coming up in September too. I think what makes anybody an artist is just doing it. It's the same answer as if you would ask somebody what makes you a bank teller or what makes you a male person. <laughs> you show up and you do it every day. No, I was about 11 years old and maybe 10. And up the street there was an old man who painted flowers. He was retired and um, one of his rooms was his painting room and I used to watch him paint and I was just intrigued that someone could just do that. I'm an artist because it's a mission in life. There's a great need to express, to, to give voice to the voiceless, and, and, and it's a great need today. It allows me the freedom to do what my inner core tells me to do. So please, why don't you come and join me?